to put her arch wire in. The arch wire is the part that actually moves the tee. So it just slides into the braces. And then it sometimes sticks out the back of the tube so you just we have a special players and it will snip it little snap here perfect and then this patient picked the color blue for the top so we put blue colors on And if the color does not fully push the wire in, we use what is called a ligature tie. It's a wire tie. And that just goes around the brace. And it is tightened by twisting. And it just holds the wire in snugly to get the full rotation. When you brush, it's really important to brush three times a day. So in the morning, after you're done eating breakfast, at night before you go to bed, okay. and then sometime during the day. Okay. If you can't brush at school, it's okay to wait till you get home from school. Yeah. When you brush, in between your brace and your gum line, there's not a lot of tooth showing. Uh -huh. On the bottom especially, and then up here. And that's where the plaque and the food and all yeah. the stuff you eat likes to sit. So when you brush, it's really important, little circles. Okay. Up above the braces, go around about 10 seconds in each spot. Okay. And angle, angle that brush up above the braces. If okay. you go straight on like this, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything, you got it. Okay. So just angle that up above and go all the way back. Uh huh. And then go over the top of them. Uh huh. And then underneath. Okay. Same thing down here, you might even have to hold your lip back a little bit. Okay. Just to get those little circles down there. Uh-huh. Sound good? Yeah. So, we're going to give you this toothbrush, and this is a timer for three minutes. To brush, so you know how long three minutes is when okay. you're brushing your teeth. We also have a travel toothbrush if you want to keep this at school, especially with that expander in. It might be nice if you just get food or anything caught in there to brush around your braces, braces quick. You don't even need to use toothpaste, just if you got water, just a quick brush and if you get food in there. Okay. So this is nice to have at school. And then also we have these little picks. These I are love those things. Perfect. <laughs> and these little Christmas tree things, you can keep one with you. And these are nice if you get food stuck up here. And okay. especially for your expander, I'm gonna give you a few of them. And if you want more, we got more here. But they can get up above that expander too. Okay. If you get food stuck up there, mm -hmm. okay? And then, flossing. Do you floss now? No, not really. Not really? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. It's okay. We would like you to become a flosser. Okay. So there's two ways to floss. One way is with these floss threaders. Mm -hmm. And these you can reuse until they break and we give you a little packet of them in there. Okay. And then you take a piece of floss, whatever kind of floss you like to use. Break it off. Oh, sorry. Break the floss off, and I would tie the floss on here in just like a little knot. Okay. Just because every time you go through, the floss will end up falling off. Okay. And then you just got to thread it under the wire, like that, and yeah. then 
just kind of go up on each side of that gum okay. tissue. Yep. And it does take a little longer. I think it's good if you can give yourself like 10 to 15 minutes before you go to bed just for flossing, brushing, and then I'm going to give you a mouth rinse we want you to use too. But flossing regularly really helps to keep your gums from getting puffy. Because sometimes your gums with the braces will want to swell up if you're not flossing. And it can be really hard to get them to shrink back down. The other way to floss is with these little flossers. These are called platypus flossers. And there's a sample of them in here. And these have a really thin end on them. Uh -huh. So instead of having to thread it, you uh, can yeah. just put it underneath uh, there like that. Okay. And just go on each side uh, of that gum. Uh -huh. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Way easier. The only problem is down here, uh -huh. it fits there. But until your teeth straighten out, you might have to do the threading way to get okay. underneath those teeth. If you have something, that's causing a sore on your mouth, you take a little piece of wax out of this. We give you this and just yeah. get a little dot of it off. Okay. And then let's say this brace right here yeah. is poking you, you just squish the wax in there. Okay. And that will keep it from yeah. rubbing on your cheek. It does come off when you eat or brush. So just try to remember to take it off. Um, if you forget, that's okay, swallowing a tiny bit won't hurt anything. Okay. Um, the other thing, I would not just automatically put wax on your braces every day because your, your lips will never get used to them. Yeah. But if you have a spot that's causing a sore or that expander is really bothering your tongue, to get it to heal better, I'd put wax on it. Okay. okay, so this is a list of foods that we want you to avoid while you have braces on. The first thing up here, we're going to start with is hard candies. Avoid any hard candies, suckers, jelly ranchers, hard mints, ring pops. Um, and then we're going to go to corn chips. Avoid any corn chips. Popcorn, we find that the holes get stuck up in the gum tissue, so we ask you to avoid popcorn. Um, you can have puff corn or pirate booty. That is totally fine, but we're going to ask that you stay away from the popcorn. Um, no beef jerky. Don't ever chew on ice. Avoid nuts. Um, you can have like a cut up Snickers bar but try to avoid like handfuls of nuts. Pizza, you can have pizza, just the edge of it where it's thick and crispy, avoid that. Cut corn off the cob. And then any really thick chips, like Fritos, Gardettos, kettle chips, try to avoid those. You can stick to Pringles, uh, Lay's potato chips. Try to stay away from the really, really hard, crunchy ones. Fruits and vegetables cut up into small pieces. And then no sticky, chewy foods, no gums, caramels, licorice, taffy, Skittles, Starburst. Stay away from all that sticky, chewy stuff. It will get all over in your braces. And then stay away from pop. We don't want you to be drinking a lot of pop with braces. That can cause the white scars on the teeth very, very quickly. Same with fruit juices, Gatorade. Try to stay away from those things. Those can also cause the white scars on your teeth or cavities. Uh, do not chew on pens or pencils. Those can break braces also. And then also try to avoid chewing your fingernails too.